So here we are with this guys. We have the crank out, all the pistons out, the main caps. Those are all marked, ready to go in. So it's a good thing we got to this block when we did and didn't try to run it anymore because these bearings are very, very gone. Like extremely gone. The rods, the rod bearings, or even worse. Turn this light on. So this is number one. Look at that bearing surface. You hear that? That's terrible. Really bad. So. Go number two. I hope you guys can hear that because I don't know which bearing failed. Look at look how much um foreign materials in this one. I think it was this one. I think it was number three. I don't know how, but this is the worst of all of them. The rod itself, the mating surface, is not that bad. I am not snagging anything on there, so hopefully that's good. But look at number four. Look at the piston. What is this? I know that's not just casting. Is this bearing material? that came through because there's none on number one at all. You go number two, there's a little bit, some more on number three, and number four is just caked, caked in it. And then here are the, uh, the mains. Nothing, nothing too much in number five. Number four, let's go to this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Number three, thrust. I think this is one is the thrust. Oh yeah, listen. Terrible. 
Number two, can't really stand it up. Eh, not bad, still not good. Number one, there's some bearing material on it actually. See? Let's go with the crank. Ooh, I hope I can get away with a polish on this. Because I am not... I wanted to go standard bearing size on this. All right. It's not that bad. I'm not snagging anything. I know we, we're still going to plastic gauge it and all that, but this one, number four, yeah, you can get it with your, and this is number four as well, but on the uh, main, let's go to number three cylinder. So the rod bearings got the worst of it. You can hear me catch with my fingernail on this one. Main number three, it catches a bit. I think I can get away with a polish. Here is some bearing material. So, but there's really no deep, deep gouges or high spots on the crank. And I'm going to take it to my machine shop, see what they think about it. But I think I can get away with maybe a polish. I don't think I have to oversize the bearings on this. I think I caught it good in a good enough state to where the bearings didn't really um, gouge all that much into the oil supply. But so here it is. Now we're going to clean all of this. Get this ready, clean it, degrease it, get all the bearings out, and send it off to get this hot tanked. Then to the machine shop, see what they think. But let's see if we can get these bearings out so we can check the uh, state of it down there. <coughs> well, there goes number one. Main number two, this on the table right there. There's number two, number three, bam. Drop it, I guess, that's cool. Number four, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at all this shit in there. And number five. Yeah, there. I think number three failed and number four got the worst of it because this is not good. I'm happy we caught it in time though because it doesn't look too destroyed. It never spun a bearing on me. Whenever I was driving it home that day, whenever we first started it, it was not knocking. I, we did not spin a bearing. I think the balance shaft, because on the balance shaft, um, if it weren't tagged away, I would show you, I can actually show you in here. Maybe the balance shaft failed, because it didn't spin a bearing. But um, I have the cover off right here. Let's see if I can get this to stick somewhere. Or I can just hold it in there. Come on, focus. It's terrible. But, um. So. Rebuild. We're going to start with the machine shops. We're going to see what they say about the crank. We're going to get the block hot tanked. And I want to balance the rods. If you guys watch Jaffro Mobile, which I really suggest you do, he has a great video on balancing rods. I think this engine can really benefit from it. I kind of want to do the oil return galley mods on it too, 
but I need to look into it more because that's more for a 4G63 than more a tune for rather than on a G54B. But I feel like this is a good motor to learn on. I have previous owners, old RTV and shit. But tell me what you guys think. Should I just junk the block? Because look at all this shit in here. It's awful. So, hot tanking the block, here we come. Actually, let's look at the cylinder fours. I'm still waiting for all my measuring equipment, so I can't show you guys fully yet. But, um... Flip the block over. She doesn't want to flip. out onto the plastic all right cylinder bores so the deck surface um, we still need to check the deck surface but I need my dial bore gauge so we can really get a measurement but my fingers not catching on anything inside the cylinder bore. So might get away with just a tiny hone. I don't see any marks really for it. So I don't know, we might be good with that. But seriously, look at number one. Look at number one's oil squirter. It's just caked in something, I'm not sure. And I'm scared. I'm afraid. I'm afraid my block is junk, but I don't think it's junk. You know what I mean? But I don't know what to do here. I'm all scared now. So I think that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Sorry I didn't film me pulling the engine, but um, I had some friends over and I felt that'd just be weird. I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't want to be on camera. But it went off without a hitch, and just simple engine pulling. Nothing real special to it. Then we just cleaned the uh, block up and uh, cleaned all the parts, bagged them, tagged them, and then brought the stand into the clean room. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day.